Welcome to Beware of Bears channel. I've missed lunch three days in a row. I guess I got a bad angle of Shayna Baszler, and now she keeps kicking me out of my chair and telling me that cameramen don't get seats and catering. It's impossible to eat salad while crutching in a corner. If you beat her in a chairs match, might make the point there's no place for bullying in WWE. It's the second generation superstar who's here to write her own story. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Benny Rage. We're looking at some of the most. She's a feared MMA grappler who is always ready to fight. And from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Call the seat, but hold on tight. It might be used as a weapon in tonight's chairs match. Shayna Baszler is known as a bully in the ring and a bit of a bully outside of it, too. I hear there's a few folks hoping to see her get what's coming tonight. There's nothing like the thud of a chair hitting someone square across the back to make you feel alive. And to make you glad you're sitting over here, Saxton. And Shayna Baszler tries the early cover. And the kick out. Not even close. Able to interrupt the attack. Man, that was a hard landing. Tag, punch. Look at this, just unloading. Nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, right across the solar plexus. She's taking things to ringside. She's ready to do some serious damage courtesy of that steel chair. Don't come over here. Cole, you sat down with your human shield. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taken a toll. This has to be stopped. The cumulative damage here is going to have long-term effects. Uh-oh. Harlem side kick. Baszler needs to head this attack off of the pass. No, I don't see Shayna struggling much longer. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. And now she's getting back into the ring. And oh my God, what a fall! That's a job. Turn out the lights. And she still fails to extend any resistance here. Yeah, now she has to turn this momentum around. say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.
I booked the new women's tag champs on my podcast and made a mistake mentioning that Shayna and Rhonda used some less than honorable techniques to obtain the titles. Rhonda threatened to make me tap out, unless I agreed she could make you submit to her in the ring anytime she wanted. Feel like defending my honor and kind of yours too? No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following contest is a submission match. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Betty Rage. Gentlemen, I He's back. And from Venice Beach, California, one half of the women's tag team champions, yeah. the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. A woman always just one strike or throw from victory. Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. We've got one half of a tag title rematch. The former champion has challenged Ronda Rousey to a submission match. Ronda looks especially fired up tonight. This one could be over quickly. In WWE, there are wise decisions, stupid decisions, and then there's challenging Ronda Rousey to a submission match. What was she thinking? Taking flight, diving, forearm, smash. Uh oh. Driving a knee right to the ribs. Stop to the gut, too. Oh, right to the gut. Tossed into the corner. Boom, what impact. She's starting to look concerned, but she's just going to have to put up with it. Submission matches are all about testing your pain threshold. Rousey averts the attack. Plus the educated hands and feet. Blackout. Rousey facing some serious distress. But Rousey is always just one strike away from changing the complexion of this fight. Oh, impact to the stomach. Big form. Tied up with a ripcord. Ripcord Larry. Rousey's dead to rights. Rousey is looking beatable. Turns it around. Sole of foot meets the stump. Square impact across the shoulder. Rousey showing her opponent exactly what she thinks. And an elbow drop to the arm. in the corner, needs to recover. Knee strike. Oh, stomping away. Face wash. And now she's looking to go top rope. To the sky. Big miss right there. Disrespectful, my gosh. Oh. Boom. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. And a well executed move we just saw that. And Rousey can only remain on the defensive. Rousey has to figure out. Oh, take it down. Oh, the and the rope bent as well. Great ring awareness there. She starts to rise back up, but does she know where she is? Once more, setting it up! 
the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, accompanied by Rhea Ripley from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Betty Rage. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. This superstar looks ready to make a statement. Gentlemen, are you ready? I think Dakota Kai is about to get her kick. I see what you did there. Look at that intimidating scowl. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. As we get started here tonight, the action might be in the ring, but all eyes are outside of it, wondering what Rhea Ripley is doing out here. It's a surprise to say the least, Michael. This feels very out of character for both of these women. And we're not sure if it has anything to do with the Judgment Day or if Rhea is acting on her own. Sometimes the best way to win is making a deal with the devil. Personally, I like the commitment. Boom! 
head kick connects. Looking bad for her here. She can withstand the punishment, though. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. Working on the leg. She's going for the cover. Big kick out from her there. She's not wasting any time. Going after an early pinfall. Able to get the advantage here. Oh, the rear super kick. From behind. Nasty. Uh-oh. Hard side kick. She avoids the contact. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Strong kick. My goodness. And now Dakota is feeling heavy pressure. Kai's having trouble getting her bearings. Oh, man. And Kai showcasing that attitude that's made her such a threat. Putting a stop to all her showboating. myself the same question. I have no idea. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. Man, strikes. Wow. My goodness, look at this buffet of strikes. And attacking above the shoulders has become the strategy here. Kai's bordering on a loss. We could be close to an end. Oh, this could be something. Oh, God. Dakota can't come back from that. Makes the cover. Not so fast. Referee caught him in the act. Breaks the count. Dakota is struggling to defend herself. Full court press being applied to Kai. Uh, quite an effective counter. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. And we just saw some stuff. Oh, what's coming here? Submission move being applied. Impressive display of power. Oh, she had to prevent herself from being an emphatic victory. Never a doubt, barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. Here comes trouble. A superstar who is always ready for a fight. And she won't let anything stand in her way. And their opponents, first 
representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. This is a woman who done. Perhaps the best female high flyer in WWE, Io Sky. And you can never discount the backup, the control on the ground every time Io is around. Representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, Io Sky. And NXT. Presenting damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Here's what we do know. It's a six-woman tag match getting underway. And at least one half of the former tag team champions has joined the Judgment Day. But where Ava Moreno fits in is unclear. They're keeping us guessing, which means they're also keeping their opponents guessing. It's very smart. Are they all members of the Judgment Day? Are you? Am I? I don't know what to believe. Backfest! Nasty. She's forced onto the defensive now. We all know how competitive the women's division is. We're getting a big taste of that right here. Gets the tag. Focused attack on the leg. Oh, the torque on the knee. Hard forearm shot. And there's more. My goodness. Wow. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing them aside.
Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Betty Rage. The WWE Universe has been kept. The Eradicator has arrived. Ready to pass judgment on the women's division. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. We certainly have a big one tonight, but looked like a promising alliance with the Judgment Day. Looks like it's falling apart as quickly as it formed. A double stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. You feel it. A double stretch. Fighting out of That's it. That's one way to get out of it. Nice. She's just to the outside. And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Things are only going to get more chaotic from here. Is that even possible? Oh, the rear super kick! From behind, nasty. Giving the people what they want up close and personal. Uh, yeah, but someone could seriously get hurt here, Michael. Oh, it's a recipe for cracked ribs. Uh, targeting the stomach. Going blow for blow through the WWE Universe. Oh, what a clothesline. That offense taking a toll on her. This is not going to be pretty. Not there. Oh, oh, like that. Nothing back. Using that well-placed table to great effect. Oh! She saw that one coming. Oh, God. And she knew Ripley's game plan. Ripley sidesteps the attack. A stalemate of counters. Target acquired and destroyed. And Rhea on the wrong end of some aggression there. Well, you don't sign up for an extreme rules match without knowing the consequences, Cole. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Ripley is getting beaten down here. Ripley's experiencing some brutality. Oh, 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 turn out the lights. The party's over. Oh, my goodness. That's it. Her body cut that table in half. There might not be anything left of her after that. Finally, looks like they've had their fill of excitement from the WWE Universe. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And she just flipped the script of this match courtesy of the table. Heading back to the ring. in a surprising bit of danger. Things look fire for Rhea. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. She fights her shoulder up and 
for one. She is still in this fight. Ooh, that one is on her shoulder. She's enduring some damage to the outside. This could get wild. Those are folding chairs, but they can also fold you in half. She's setting the chair up. This is not going to be pretty. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Oh, hard impact in the corner. Table behind her now in the line of fire. Expected that one. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all the lethal. More attacks up there could leave her severely impaired. And will it be? Oh, and she picked up a monumental win. Here is your winner, Betty Ray. Unfortunately, a big win here tonight. The entire women's division was watching this one, and she is the one to watch, guys. I've got some news you'll be pretty excited to hear. Elimination Chamber is coming up. The winner of the Chamber will earn a title match for the SmackDown Women's Championship at WrestleMania. I told you I'd find the right opportunity for you to not only chase the title, but make a real impact. And this is it. Want to hear the details? A chance for the title? Of course I want the details. As you know, six competitors go into the Chamber. Bailey has already qualified, but there's going to be a series of qualifying matches to determine the five other spots. You're in the first one. Don't let me down. Thank you, Molly. I won't. I saw you coming. What? Someone's been a little too snarky for her own good on social media. I don't like it. You think you have what it takes to earn a SmackDown Women's Championship match with me at WrestleMania? I do. My eyes are on the SmackDown Women's Championship. <laughs> too bad the SmackDown Women's Championship is on me. Don't think that just because I'm working with your aunt, I'll take it easy on you. It's a second generation superstar who's here to write her own story.
The following contest is in elimination match. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Betty Rage. Blessed with natural ability. A battle-hardened veteran and one of WWE's toughest women. And from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans! Welcome. Justine's niece continues to chart her own path in WWE, and tonight she'll look to take a big step toward her first Elimination Chamber match in this qualifying match. It won't be easy, though, not with Lacey Evans standing in her way. Here's what I'm wondering. Can Ava Moreno's partner win on her own, or has she always been the weaker link? We're about to find out. And that was an effective attack, guys. Ah, oh, stops the legs. Ooh, what a four club. Good night. Good grief. Stopping their opponent. Followed by a forearm smash. Things taking a turn for her now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. And Evans is really being knocked around here. Lacey has to find an opening and respond. She did her homework there. Neck is trapped. What a suplex. Irish whip into the corner, and she's got Lacey Evans on the defensive. Blows like those can make a difference in this match. Is that Dewdrop? What's the SmackDown Women's Champion doing out here? Could be about a certain prediction on social media earlier. Lacey's using it to her advantage with a quick roll-up. This qualifying match is over. Lacey Evans has qualified for the Elimination Chamber, and her opponent is not happy. Which seems to be exactly what Dewdrop wanted. Tough break out there, kid. Tough break? Dewdrop robbed me of my opportunity. What would you want me to do? Have you watched the product? WWE management can hardly ever keep people out of matches, and nobody broke any rules. Besides, heard you were poking the bear a little bit on social media, the bear being Dewdrop. I'm just supposed to keep quiet and not want the SmackDown Women's Championship? No, but keep in mind that you're not the only one trying to get ahead. No need to put a target on your back. Anyway, Dewdrop's made her point now. Hopefully, she'll stay out of your way. Because management's decided that while Dewdrop's interference was legal, it is also enough reason to give you another shot. Thank you. I appreciate it. You'll get another opportunity to qualify for a chamber spot next week in a fatal four-way. Want to tell me what that was all about? What do you mean? My client had an issue with another WWE superstar who called her out on social media, and my client decided to make that issue known. Justine, come on. It's me. Okay, listen. I meant what I said about keeping our personal relationship separate from business. But I also didn't tell Dewdrop to interfere in your qualifying match. Not that I could have stopped her if I wanted to. I guess you're right. Try to keep your head down, and Dewdrop will back off.
Finally, it's over. Well, after that beat down, it's safe to say this match is now a triple threat. Well, Xylee ended up qualifying for the Elimination Chamber. There's only three spots left now. Dewdrops made it pretty clear that she's not going to leave me alone. I need to take her out before my next opportunity. Yeah, I saw the hashtag. But next opportunity? LJ, you've already had two chances. Do you really think WWE management is going to give you another one? But you saw what happened. I didn't even have a chance to compete in the Fatal 4-Way. I don't know. It all seems like just another hazard of being a WWE superstar. Besides, I don't understand why you're so set on qualifying for the Chamber. Not when I'm going to qualify in my match next week and win the Chamber anyway. Seems like wasted effort. <laughs> I welcome the friendly competition. But let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Even if I don't get another chance, I still need to take care of Dewdrop. So, I'm planning to take matters into my own hands, and I'll be drawing on a bit of inspiration from you. It's gonna be a little sneaky and a little dirty. That's just the way I like it. And there you see Dewdrop, who's been targeting possible opponents before Elimination Chamber. <laughs> Looks like she's the one who's getting targeted now. That's what you get. Watch this, guys. It seems as though we'll take a look. There's a brawl going down in our backstage area right now. Ah, oh, jeez. Boom. Able to reverse. Oh, ouch. She was clearly waiting for that. You drop on the receiving end. Oh! Oh! Rolling elbow! Kick evades the attack. That's mounted with punches and not oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Right in the bread basket. all manners of weaponry we might be looking at the point of no return here dewdrop with a reversal into the ambulance dewdrop's doing everything she can to make sure she doesn't qualify for the chamber match you think I'm gonna stop? I didn't become SmackDown Women's Look out! That car came out of nowhere! This has escalated quickly. We need medics on the scene immediately. Ava Moreno? What the hell? I think her tag team partner's just as shocked as we are. Looked like you needed some help.
Well, that was exciting. Exciting? Also pretty extreme and unexpected, but uh, thank you for having my back. Of course. As far as I'm concerned, we're a team, even outside of tag team business. In any case, I think it's safe to say that Dewdrop is handled. I don't think she'll be trying to stop either of us from qualifying for the Elimination Chamber. Carmella qualified while we were dealing with Dewdrop, but there's still two spots left, and two of us. About that. You're going to have to try to qualify for the both of us. What do you mean? Molly had some words for me. I guess despite how often it happens around here, attempted vehicular manslaughter is frowned upon. She took me out of the qualifying match. But somehow you, the golden child apparently, are getting your third opportunity. Ava, I'm so sorry. Honestly, it was kind of worth it to see Dewdrop bounce off the hood like that. Just do me a favor and win the chamber so you can take the championship at WrestleMania. It'll just mean that it'll be easier for me to take the title off you later. Oh, come on. What? I'm ambitious. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Betty Rage. Guys, this match has the potential Make way for the evil genius of the sky. And an evil genius who is now in control. And representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, EO Sky! This ever-determined rookie is hoping the third time's the charm tonight as she attempts to qualify for Elimination Chamber yet again against Dio Sky. Well, I'll promise you this, there won't be a fourth chance. It's now or never. Rolling elbow right on the mark. All right, that's it. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Before the reps count. You don't get paid by the hour, so nothing wrong with trying to wrap things up. Driving a knee right to the ribs. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. The sleeper hold is in. This could be bad. Trouble in trouble. Tap out. She's got to tap out. She's going to get hurt. Seriously hurt. The Jeopardy is real. Tap out. She will not quit. She will not stop fighting. And Eo gets reversed. Looking wobbly in the corner. Good golly, what a knee. Look at all these boots to the face. Here comes a big one. Oh! First one missed. Second one didn't. Effective. She's taking a beat in here. Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. Kick out. She still has life. She just won't stay down. Into the ring, back to the action. What a move! Eo's been on the receiving end for a bit now. Eo has to start volleying back somehow. She's gonna try it again. Oh, God. God. Uh, right 
Lions are dimming for Sky. The cover! And this one is over. Here is your winner, Benny Reyes. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Hey, I'm not exactly sure where we stand right now. Am I allowed to say congratulations? I'll allow it. Well, congratulations then. I mean it. You and Ava really did a number on Dewdrop. Good thing, too. If she had been able to get herself to your match tonight, I wouldn't have been able to stop her from running wild on you. Good thing we took care of her then. Sorry about that. Oh, no need to apologize. I'm talking to you as your aunt right now. Speaking of, I may have mixed the personal and my business just a little bit. Dewdrop was starting to plot how to get her revenge on you when she's recovered. It was getting... nasty. I'll have to be prepared then. That's not my point. Even though we're on opposite sides of this, I still care about you. I'm not an idiot. I know you've been trying to avoid me. I don't want that kind of relationship with you. It's not the kind of relationship I want either. Good. And just so you know, I was able to talk Dewdrop down from doing something extreme. Instead of renting a literal bulldozer to get her revenge on you, I convinced her to take a different tactic and have a chat with Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie McMahon? What does that mean? You'll find out soon enough. Thanks for watching, and remember, beware of bears.